dare to dream big, dare to fail, don't be afraid to fail. Um, but you have to get your, I mean, you can dream. That's very, very important. Please don't ever stop that. Don't ever think you can't do it. Don't let anybody else define your limits. Turning 70 years old is a significant milestone for anyone. But for Raviga Devi Sambandhan Murti, the occasion will be even more special. On July 11th, just two days before her birthday, she will be officially inducted into UK's Royal Society as a Fellow. She will be the first Malaysian scientist to receive this honour. As part of the ceremony, Raviga Devi will also sign the Royal Society's Charter Book, which holds the signatures of some of history's greatest scientific minds. FMT recently spoke with Raviga Devi to get to know the woman behind this remarkable achievement. Her interest in science took root early, sparked in part by a nature table at her primary school. So the children were encouraged to bring anything from the house, to put it there and then you have to explain. Like I would sometimes take a bogey wheel. Everybody learns from it and it's such a fun way of learning. And when she was in secondary school, she developed a special love for chemistry. She fondly recalls the dedication of her teachers at Convent Bukit Nanas, especially her late chemistry teacher, Mrs. Maniam. She played a key role in my love for chemistry, one particular. She really knew how to, how's the word, eh? plant the love of the subject. That's why I say teachers are so important. They play such an important role in getting the kids to appreciate that subject, you know. Education was a priority for her parents, who encouraged her to pursue a career she would enjoy and to always give her best. Recognizing the importance of oil palm to Malaysia's economy, Raviga Devi was determined to contribute to advancing the science behind the plant, leading transformative research in oil palm biochemistry and genomics. The groundbreaking research she conducted with her team has been published in the prestigious science journal, Nature. She is also the recipient of numerous accolades. Ever the humble scientist, she attributes her personal success to team effort. So we can be the best if we want to, you know? Just, we just need the right ecosystem to thrive. And I was just so blessed that I had the right ecosystem, both in terms of infrastructure, support from the bosses, support from my staff, from my team, I think very important is, in order to be a good leader, you must also be a good team player. You cannot be one and not the other. And so I think that was a very important reason. Teamwork also helped her balance the demands of career and family, this time with her husband, whom she describes as very, very supportive. To younger women scientists in Malaysia, she shared this message of encouragement. Dare to dream big, dare to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. Um, but you have to get your, I mean, you can dream. That's very, very important. Please don't ever stop that. Don't ever think you can't do it. Don't let anybody else define your limits. But at the same time, you have to be grounded in good science. You have to get your basics, right? You know? And uh, go about doing it. I mean, you can do it, no? Uh, we need you. We need more women in uh, science, you know? Tibia Ragu and Sheila Vijayan, FMT.